Hi there. How many times have you encountered a scenario where you want to perform some calculation, some kind of arithmetic, and you're at the shell prompt and you look for a calculator? Well, look no further. The bash shell allows you to perform arithmetic without looking out or watching out for any other tools or calculators. And how do you do that? Bash by default supports a feature called arithmetic expansion. How does it work? It's very simple. You can just say echo dollar double parenthesis and I can use any simple arithmetic expression which could involve all the arithmetic operators. Let's say I want to add two numbers. I can just say 10 plus 20 or 10 plus 20. Yeah. 30. Or you could actually say echo uh, dollar double parenthesis and you can just give some quite large number divide by something else multiply by 3 plus 8 minus 2. Okay, I'm not sure if the answer is correct, but again, to verify that, well, basically, you have, you can see it's a single expression that I'm using division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. And yes, it follows the typical rules. We also call this Bodmas rule, right? Basically, uh, bracket of division first, then multiply. The result of division is but then multiplied with three, then it's added with eight and two is subtracted. And I guess this gives you the value minus two. So you don't have to really look for EXPR tool. Many people would use EXPR to perform this kind of operations. They can see that. I can just say you can use EXPR and uh, you know, within quotes, I could actually provide the whole thing. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, divide by 23 into 3 plus 8 minus 2. You also done this with the XPR. Oh, it didn't do it, right? What happened? Well, XPR will have issues when you put the whole thing as one single quoted data. So you need to make sure that you escape them correctly. Yeah. You can also observe that I put this quotes, this, this asterisk within quotes because asterisk without quotes will be expandable shell to wildcard, which will throw some error. The moment you start using XPR, you need to take care of all these aspects, but bash you don't have to look out for this external tool. You can right, right, right away do it as a shell built-in feature. You can do all kinds of arithmetic. You can also use parenthesis if you want to change the order of precedence. Maybe you want to perform this activity first. Right? And then I want to multiply them with this. And then divide it. You could change the order of precedence. Right? So... All these works just nat just naturally like it works in, in many other programming languages. What are the other features? You can actually have variables in Bash. Uh, for example, I could say A is equal to 10. I could say B is equal to 20. Let's say I want to add these two variables. How do you do it? Can I say C is equal to A plus B? Will it work? Uh, it doesn't work in any shells as I've, which I've come across. Try echo dollar C. Here's what you get. So parameter assignment is just as simple as this the bash or any shell any unique shell will not let you do this so if at all i try to say c is equal to if you want to for some of you might say dollar a plus dollar b I mean, this doesn't really work what used to work in bone shell and simplistic other shells is that you would say c is equal to dollar of expr dollar a plus dollar b like this and you can see dollar c this is how it works in traditional shells. But if you're using bash, you don't have to even use expr command. You could directly say c is equal to dollar double parenthesis a plus b. Note that I can put the variable names as is without having a dollar prefix when inside that double parenthesis. The shell will automatically expand parameters before evaluation. So you can just say the dollar c. One other play the feature I really liked about is the unary increment and decrement operators. Uh, for example, if at all I want to increment a value variable, right? I'd say a, if I just say echo dollar a, this is what the value is. I want to increment the variable. It's much easier to say echo, I can say dollar, double parenthesis, plus plus a. This is a pre increment. You can also say a plus plus. It will return the current value of a, which is 11. That's what will be echoed, but the value of a will be incremented. For example, if we just try to instead of telling plus plus a, if we say a plus plus, it will return it will return 11, but the value of a is increment, post increment, pretty much like in the C programming language. And this is quite convenient if you want to write a loop with an incrementation that's going on. For example, I want to say 
uh, i is equal to 0. And I want to try out, I say while dollar i is, I can say, my, because my, my, you know, my dollar, dollar i is less up, you know, it's greater than, okay, so it's less than uh, uh, 10. I can just try do echo counting dollar i. But now I want to increment the value of dollar i. To increment it, the whole cryptic way is you'll say i is equal to dollar for expr dollar i plus one. But when you're using bash, you could add to say, um, you know, dollar of. You can add say echo. Okay? Echo. I can put it right here. Sorry, I made a mistake. Let's just repeat this command again. At least some of you might want to put this in a top typical file and save it as the shell script you know i'm less lazy today i'll just say counting i can just say dollar open double parenthesis i plus plus let's do the trick one line right print the current value of a and also increment it and say but if you want to write a counting loop don't do it this way there's another interesting syntax i will quickly tell you you can actually use pod loop in bash shell with the syntax you can say for i is equal to zero i is less than 10 i plus plus just that make sure you put this in double parenthesis use double parenthesis and you usually can just say do echo counting dollar i this works this double parenthesis you see here is arithmetic expansion going on in here inside you have you you can make an assignment to a variable semicolon you can also check for a condition and you can also increment so all this can be done so this is like a typical c style for loop but using a slightly cryptic syntax because double parenthesis to support arithmetic substitution however there's a small limitation you should be aware of in this um, you cannot do floating point arithmetic in bash so if at all i try this right now let's say by default in bash floating point arithmetic is not supported so if there is a way to support it, do let me know. So a couple of you who have worked on Bash more than me, maybe you know how the way to do floating point directly using Bash built-in. There's a way to do it. Do let me know in comments. I couldn't figure it out. So if we just say um, dollar off, maybe I could say three into 0 0.5. It's not going to work. But this is where I know about another shell that shines. In fact, that's touted as one of the interesting features. It's none other than KSH93. KSH is the granddaddy of most of the modern shells, uh, like Bash and, uh, you know, many others, right? So they derive a lot of features from KSH, job control and so on, uh, written by David Kahn. There are different dialects of KSH, PDKSH, MKSH, but I'm going to use the original KSH 93 implementation by David Kahn, which is now open source. You can install it using a package. You can actually say sudo apt install KSH 93 if you want to install it. Now it's simply called KSH now these days. Okay. So this version of KSH I've installed, if I just launch it, you can just see I can do arithmetic expansion even in KSH, but it supports floating point. Both KSH and Bash do support power off operator. To do power off, I can say echo dollar double parenthesis 2 to the power of 5. With KSH, you can also find out square root of 2. All you need to do is remember the law of indices we learned in elementary schooling. A number raised to its half is a square root. Yeah, you can just do that. Sorry, I think shell substitution or command substitution kicked in. 2 double asterisk 0 0.1. This will print the square root of 2. Yeah, bash does not support this feature. Power off alone is supported. I'm going to exit from KSH. I'm back inside Bash shell. I can say echo 2 to the power of 5. But 0 0.5, that is not supported. That's a limitation. If you want to look for more sophisticated math to do floating point and all that, there are tools like BC, basic calculator. That will help it. But for simple arithmetic expansion and evaluation, I think you can just use the shell built-in feature. Right, and to know more about all these arithmetic evaluation, how do you search search for it? Just do a man bash, the bash man page. This man page is big, very big. Uh, searching through it, scrolling through can be quite 
Kimbersum. If you want to search for arithmetic expression and arithmetic evaluation, search for the word arithmetic evaluation. All caps. There's a section for that. We search through, search through. It's scanning through the shell, I guess. Yeah, it's found here. All of these are different operators supported in Bash. You even have comparison operators and bitwise operators and a couple of these expressions, ternary, ternary operator. So all of these are supported so you can experiment with it. Right? So this is something I had to show you, a feature with Bash shell. So next time we want to do simple arithmetic, don't look for launching Python, launching uh, EXPR and all that, or looking for a calculator tool. You can do it at the shell prompt. It's very convenient. And you can also improvise your shell script with basic arithmetic operations using Bash. I hope you find this video useful. So if you do find this video useful, please do comment. I hope to meet you in future videos. Thank you very much.